Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about the real person in the Yolanda 90 Day Fiance catfish photo speaks, plus more black male news. Okay guys, this, I'm really, really, really starting to feel sorry for Yolanda. I almost cried. I think out of the entire franchise, after all the years I've been watching 90 Day Fiance, I don't think I felt this bad for anybody. Let me think. No, I, re I really haven't. She is on the top of my list of really feeling sorry for her. You guys know if you watch this channel, I roast the rest of the cast. I call them dumb and this and that. Like, not today. Because my heart is bleeding people for Yolanda. I really feel bad for her. Okay, so this next information is coming from Fraudcast Podcast, okay? They found out that the picture being used for Williams, now we all know Williams is not real, but you know, it's taking Yolanda a minute to get there, okay? Give her time. She's gone through a lot, okay? Um, she still thinks he's real, by the way. But anyway, um, this they discovered that the picture being used for Williams is a stock photo, okay? That has been used on multiple accounts, just like the basic catfish scheme it's so sad i usually don't feel sad for catfishers but i'm feeling sorry for her today i'm really feeling sorry for her um and the real guy his name is i believe it's Mikel or michelle with one l but i'm gonna go with Mikel de lucio he's a famous bodybuilder and a former fitness trainer oh i feel bad i mean Listen, this, she has to accept this at this point, but she's still not accepting it. Okay, so um, his picture is being used on multiple accounts. He hasn't been active in his account since 2019. Not only that, it gets worse, people. Are you ready for it to get worse? I mean, grab your Kleenex. Okay, so they realized that this was a stock photo being used on multiple accounts. Then they contacted the person that took the photos, okay, the photographer. So they actually talked to him, and he confirmed that, yes, this is the bodybuilder that goes by the name either Mikel or Michelle with one L. You guys know I don't know how to pronounce names really good. That, yes, this is definitely... Um, this person, he's a bodybuilder, um, well known, and not only that, he had no idea that his photo was being used on the internet, let alone to catfish someone, let alone to catfish someone on national television. He had no idea what was going on, people. Oh my goodness. Now, like I said, I usually don't have wake up and smell the coffee dumbass sympathy, but for some reason, for Yolanda, I have wake up and smell the coffee dumbass sympathy. Now, the photographer's name is Cavaretto. I'll leave the link in the my description box. Even he, once Fraudcast told him what was going on, felt sorry for Yolanda. I'm telling you people, this is a sad, sad, sad situation. Now, we know on the upcoming episode, it gets worse because the catfishers are now going to blackmail her. They're saying that she sent Williams, when she thought she was talking to her boyfriend, okay, um, compromising photos, and that if she doesn't pay them off, they're going to release the photos. Does this, can this story get any worse, people? Can it get any worse? I'm feeling extremely bad for Yolanda. I have a feeling I'm going to cry when the episode is aired. I'm feeling really, really bad. But at some point, she has to come to terms. She still doesn't believe that he's um, fake. But maybe now that it's been proven that who the real owner of those photos are. And not only do I feel sorry for her, guys. I'm going to do something that I've never, ever done on this channel before. I can't believe I'm doing it, okay? I'm going to try to convince you guys to ease up on Yolanda. And find in your heart some get a clue dumb ass sympathy for her. I'm going to remind you of what she's been going through. Don't forget, she lost her husband. That's hard to deal with people. Very, very hard. She lost 300 pounds. You've got to be disciplined. She's probably hungry as hell. She needs some kind of little light in her life. So that's what this Williams thing did to her. Okay? Gave her a little light. But... She's got to come to terms with it. But I want you guys to take it easy on Get a Clue Dumbass Yolanda because... I mean, I've never seen anything like it. And when they show this upcoming episode, you know what, guys? I'm not going to lie to you. I'm probably going to cry.
on 90 Day Fiance of all the shows. This is supposed to be the show that, you know, I don't have to think about anything, let alone cry. I mean, you guys better get it together, 90 Day Fiance. Stop finding sad stories. We want the fake ones. You know, the ones that we don't have to think about. But feeling sorry for people? I think that's, a, that's like an unusual emotion for me. Okay, guys, that's all the 90 Day Fiance news I have for you today. What I want to know in my comments section today is, does anyone else feel sorry for Yolanda or do I need to get a backbone and start being mean again? Also, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.